All right, welcome to the April 23rd, 2024 Indie Contributors Call. Um, just updates, I think, on this, but we'll see where the uh, discussions lead us. Um, we are recording. This is a Linux Foundation and Hyperledger Foundation meeting. So the uh, antitrust policy of the Linux Foundation and the code of conduct of the Hyperledger Foundation is in effect. Certainly know everyone here. Um, any announcements to be made? I, I don't... Yeah. yeah. Um, the Indicio testnet uh, will be reset on Tuesday, May 7th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Okay. Um, if you guys have questions about that, you can reach out on Discord. Um, we do recommend if you're running demos to yeah. use the demo net for the demos. Okay. All right. At 9 a.m. in what time zone? I would assume mountain time. All right. Uh, yep, it is mountain time. Verify. Good. Good. Okay. Any other announcements? Suspect others have updated probably this section. Um, thought about uh, topics. I will be happy to uh, give a small update about hyperledger uh, in the uh, Please. But, uh, yes. So uh, maybe if I already started. Uh, we finalized pull requests uh, to uh, did in the method uh, repository. Alexandra okay. uh, Sherbakov reviewed it. Yeah, detail with a detailed review, but also we will be happy to get uh, other review. And okay. how's this? So looks like Sam had a chance to start looking through this pull request, and I will be happy to get his opinion about this pull request. Sounds good. All right. So folks, um, let's take that as an action item to review and get that finalized this week, ideally. Please get the feedback in. Um, Kim, any updates on the Ubuntu 2204? I've been seeing lots of PRs and PR updates. Progress? So uh, I've made some progress on ND Plenum. Um, the build, I believe, is passing all the way now. I'm waiting for one more build to finish here. And then um, currently, uh, uh, and I have a couple questions about this. Um, the uh, There's a couple of dependencies that I've used. I've created a temporary repo for hosting the Debian file that I did the development. Okay. Um, because the I, I don't have the keys to do the publishing on it. Um, but there's four Debian packages that I had to pull in manually. Um, there's a libssl that I pulled from uh, the previous version of Ubuntu. Um, there is uh, the Ursa package. Um, so I have not done anything to trigger the Ursa build. And then there's the libnd package. Um, that was a requirement as well for the build process. Um, and so I think if I can get some help getting uh, the repository mm -hmm. created and then resolving those three um, uh, Debian packages, I think we're done with the Indie Plenum as far as the first pass on it. So there is a, the Ursa should be replaced by the Indie, Indie BLS signatures repository. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. Did we do any work to remove uh so so we technically don't need that for the build is what you're saying. Well no like you should be able to replace the reference in Ursa to indie BLS signatures. 
Um, hang on one sec. Is Ursa's end of life? Can't quite see my screen. Hang on. Let me make sure it's there. No. Um, well, let's just go to Hyperledger. Oh, RS. So there's no Debian package for it. So there should be a package for it, and you should be able to simply replace uh, the Ursa reference with this. Would that help? Um. Yeah, so we'll have to go in there and make sure that we have a the automated build for Ursa that deploys the package to the repository. So the repository I'm referencing is the um oh what is it called? Let me go look real quick. It would be you're talking about the part of the build that does the third party dependency packages, the, Debian packages. Yeah. Pushes the them to the hyperledger JFrog. Yeah. Yeah. I can help with that. Okay. Yeah. If you reach out to me on Discord, we can work through that part. Okay, because it'd be really good not to be have any references to Ursa in yep. anything new we do. Yeah, and I mean then... we can certainly make that change for uh the the Ursa repository. Um that's fine. Um but those were the three packages Debian packages yeah. I had to pull yeah. in. Okay. Um, um the lib indie, I believe that's only used for tests, isn't it? Yeah. I would think that'd be right. So you wouldn't need that. You wouldn't need a Debian package for that because it's not actually distributed. Um, I think we might still need the package um, for the, the tests, the way it pulls in the... the yeah, for the tests, board. but then you wouldn't... The tests don't require a Debian package to, to install that. I think right now it installs the Debian packages for the tests. Does it? it doesn't yeah. just pull in the Python. And then I think we might have a requirement for the lib indie right now in the setup.py. Um, yeah, I thought I thought lib indie was being pulled in uh, only via the only via the Python packages when you did when you installed uh to do testing that's a possibility Let and then lib lib ssl we probably really need to update the version of lib ssl that's being used i have a feeling the one that's being used is rather old so when you went with the default lib ssl you got errors i assume that's why you're pinning it or, or manually pulling it in um, no, I didn't do anything to address that to start with. Um, I just wanted to get everything building and working on any oh, plan. Um, we can certainly look, uh, take a look, a second look, and say, hey, what what packages should we update? Um, uh, yeah, so maybe fair just approach. continue continue with the path that you're doing, and then um yeah so i could continue with the pass i'm doing and take it all the way up to um indie node and then we can circle back on updating packages okay excellent it might be it might be easier yeah the lib ssl you think that was there'd be an up to date one for 2204 yeah i've also got there's also concerns I have around um, 
the rocks db dependencies i mean we have seen in certain versions of rocks db issues with larger ledger sizes we ran into that with um von network so i mean we're gonna have to have some pretty good testing around things like that yeah so what we did what i've done so far with this upgrade is i've only bumped the versions that um no longer built on mm -hmm. 2204 right so the rocks db version is the same mm -hmm. um the so um as far as testing goes that should be shouldn't be an issue unless we need to upgrade the version on that mm -hmm. um and then uh, the other libraries that were problematic were the uh, let me pull up the setup.py um i had to upgrade rlp um to 2.0 and sorted containers to 2.1 um both of those were related to the changes in the python collections library mm -hmm. um RLP and then there and what was the other one sorry rlp and sorted containers okay um and then there is one library that wasn't compatible due to collections that is no longer maintained and that's the io flow um, so I forked that, updated it for collections, but I didn't uh, do anything to look for a suitable replacement for it. Okay. Awesome. And then I assume rinse and repeat on Indie Node now that you've got a passing on Plenum. So yeah, really, that'll be the next step is Indie Node. Indie Node and that and that would wrap it. And then this would be uh, you know, improvements as we go, which is taking a look at what we can upgrade. Uh eliminating this Ursa. Okay. Awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds very promising. Good. Thanks for that, Kim. That's awesome work. All right. Um, there with IAW and all that, there hasn't been much movement on led ledger redaction, but I expect there will be um, emails going out in the next week on um, following up from the Indie Ecosystem Summit that was held two weeks ago. And um, we'll get more on um, crunchy details on, on how we're gonna proceed with that. Um, just with IAW last week, we really didn't have a chance to, to follow up, but expect that this week. Um, project submissions, I as I understand it, are coming in. I believe um, they come in I'm not quite sure how how long it's uh, coming in. I should take a look at that. Um, the mentorship program dates. Yeah, so May 10th. So we won't hear anything until May 10th on that. Um, and then we'll start the evaluation process. Um, as mentioned, we do have the read replica um, project in the list and so we'll be following up with that um we did have um week before last a uh, i attended a um a, a, a kickoff for the application period and um talked a bit about the projects we have and and various things to do with the mentorship program and so that is uh underway uh, and applications are coming in. We do have people um, contacting us directly for, for various things. I am uh, not really following up on those because it's really not, since it is an open competition, we want to make it fair for everyone. So I'm not um, doing a lot. So if anyone is, um, please don't be offended. Um, we just uh, want to make it fair for everyone to um, apply and, and um, 
go through a fair uh, evaluation process. Um, I, that's all I really had on the agenda for today. I didn't um, have any uh, specific topics. Are there any other topics people want to go over at this point? All right, Wade, any um, updates on the work you've been doing on upgrading networks? Um, things are progressing on the candy side. Um, I've got upgrade scripts tested. Um, I've also been testing, um, deprecating and removing the um, token plugins. Uh, that seems to be going fairly well. I just need to do some uh, scripting around that to make that more more automated um we've got some sylvan martel from quebec is doing some work uh on the same scripts that we're working on so i've got to integrate our changes together on that um so that's on the bc gov side um that testing and everything follows on to the to the uh, sovereign side, and I'll be sharing results with Lynn for Indicio on the uh, getting rid of the token plugins and stuff like that. So we can move back to a, a vanilla version of Indy on all the networks. Um, we will be uh, reaching out to the stewards on sovereign uh again to uh, encourage them to do the upgrades we've got a couple that are sort of lined up they're just scheduling right now so. good okay thanks uh steven can you hear me now what's that adam adam i had a mic issue so i tried to ask a question ah. you totally ignored me earlier i um, totally no. ignored you you didn't hear me at all. Uh, so you mentioned, was it uh, on the, um, did you say that you had been not responding to emails about the, about the? Um, um, generally, I, uh, on the mentorship program, um, I don't reply to sort of, hey, what should I do to make my, to be prepared for this? Those types of questions. Ah, okay. I, I that's useful because I got one of those because my name's on it too, and I wasn't yeah, sure the exactly. protocol. So. Thanks for, thanks yeah, for letting me circle um, back. What, what was stated, and it was a little awkward on the call, and the follow-up after it was adjusted, but it was after the call, which was, if you want to ask you know, public questions on a public Discord, um, you're welcome to do that. But direct contact and you know, individual guidance on it is not really appropriate for this um, program. That's super useful. Because it yeah. was on my list to, to respond to an email that I got like <laughs> during yeah. IW that I hadn't got to yet. So I appreciate you saying something. I'll, yeah, uh, and I you I've have more experience few, with this than I do. So yeah, yeah. I, I've had a few where people are trying to connect with me on LinkedIn and and things like that, and I feel bad, but I I just don't have um, the bandwidth to to respond to all of them, and I don't. And as I say, I don't think it's fair to for an open uh, competition um to to help individuals out that you yeah, know yeah yeah no that we're more than well. welcome to to figure out other ways to do it so there I'm you go fully behind your answer but i appreciate all right. you speaking about it <laughs> all right any other topics for today all right well, have a great one, everyone, and we'll see you in a couple more weeks. Um, to keep an eye out for any follow-ups on the Indy um, Ecosystem Summit, and we'll move forward on that as well. Take care. See ya.